Recently a viewer asked me what I think about BCAAs and because a lot of people are looking into using these BCAA supplements I figured we might as well do a video about the subject. So here we are. Now what are BCAAs and do you need to supplement them? First of all, what are they actually? BCAA stands for Branch Chain Amino Acid. And of course, that leads us over right to the next question, what are amino acids? And amino acids are the building blocks with which your body builds proteins. And proteins you probably know as important in the building of muscle. But it's not only muscle that proteins build, proteins do a whole lot of stuff. But your body builds proteins from amino acids and to do that it uses 20 different kinds of amino acids. Now there are differences between those 20. Of those 20, 8 are called essential amino acids because those 8 it can't build itself, it has to rely on the foods you eat to get them. And if those 8 are missing from the food you eat, then of course your body can't build certain proteins and you will have problems from those. Now, how do the BCAAs fit into this picture? The BCAAs belong to the group of the eight essential amino acids and there are three amino acids which, which make up the BCAAs. And those are valine, isoleucine and leucine. And they are called branch-chained amino acids because, contrary to the other amino acids, their molecular structure looks different compared to the others. Now, another difference uh, about them is that while all the other amino acids are metabolized in your liver or in your um, digestive tract, the BCAAs are metabolized directly in your muscles. this sounds like um, you should really supplement with BCAAs because they are metabolized directly in your muscle and that can only mean that they will make your muscles grow so much bigger so much faster. But let's calm down here for a minute. There were a few studies that indeed found a positive effect of supplementing BCAAs and one of these studies actually set a recommendation about how much of them you should have per day. And what they found was um, that there is a positive effect if you have 77 milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day or 31 grams per pound per day, which translates to uh, 6,160 milligrams per day for 176 pound male. So 6,160 milligrams for that guy. Now let's say you supplement once per day with this whey protein powder here and you use one serving of this powder in 300 milliliters of skim milk. That alone gives you 3,017 milligrams of leukine, 2,509 milligrams of isoleukine and 2,034 milligrams of valine or in other words, a total of 7,560 milligrams just from one serving in milk of this whey protein powder. So that already is more than the recommendation that that study gives. But at this point, we haven't even counted in the BCAAs you get from your regular food. Because BCAAs are contained in milk, beef, chicken, fish, soy, baked beans, whole wheat and many more and if these foods are part of your regular nutrition per day and you have one of these um, protein drinks here and it's easy to imagine that you get about 15,000 milligrams of BCAA per day which is more than double of the recommendation that that study gives you. Does that mean that BCAA supplements are of no use at all? Well, there are two special conditions under which using a BCAA supplement can make sense. 
The first is if you follow a special diet. Let's say you are a vegan or an allergic and you don't want to or can't eat certain foods. Under those circumstances, you can develop um, deficiencies for specific amino acids and then of course supplementing them can make sense. The second condition is if you want to train in a fasted state. Now, if you followed my previous video about carbohydrates and all that, you know that uh, carbohydrates turn to blood glucose. And if blood glucose level is low, like in a fasted state, then there is not much of the main fuel source your muscles use for demanding tasks like heavy weight lifting or fast running. So these studies found that under those circumstances where blood glucose level is low, the BCAAs can substitute for the missing blood glucose. So if you want to train in a faster state, which I generally don't recommend, but if you want to do that, then to supplementing BCAAs can make sense. So to summarize, BCAA stands for branched-chained amino acids and those are three amino acids, isoleucine, leucine and valine, that belong to the group of the eight essential amino acids that your body can't produce itself. If you have a balanced nutrition or if you already supplement with a protein powder, you should be getting more than enough of these three amino acids and there is no need to buy extra supplements to get more of them. I hope that this video helped you a bit. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.